Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're up 11 basis points on the one-hour chart. We are now approaching, slowly approaching to positive MACD. And if we expand out further to the one-hour chart, we may see a convergence on the four-hour MACD. And at the moment, we are seeing selling pressure, and we may even touch the 200 moving average on the four-hour chart. If we expand out further on the daily chart, we may see the 50-day moving average, the yellow line, act as our immediate support, and we do see a divergence on the daily MACD. So we may eventually touch the 50-day moving average, which is around a price of $1.77. So that is our first immediate support. And at the moment, on a bigger picture scale, we see we are making higher, higher lows and higher highs. So as long as we don't breach this small upward trend, we are still intact and in reversing in natural gas as long as we don't breach that minor upward trend. So as for resistance, if we do manage to reverse and head up higher, the next resistance that I see will be around the price of where we made previous resistance back around a price of $1.97. We also had resistance that dated back to February 19th, as well as back in April 28th, again, at $1.97. So if we do manage to head up higher and hit resistance, that price movement is roughly around 8% to the upside and to the downside to hit support, that is around 2.2% to the downside. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model for natural gas. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 38% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 0 to 8%. And on the extreme case, we have a 12% for natural gas to climb between 8% to, say, 16%. On the other hand, we have a 38% chance for natural gas to fall between 0 and negative 8%. And extreme case here, we have 13% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 8% and negative 16%. So it's quite equal on where the direction above and below. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So one day out will be a Tuesday and two days out will be a Wednesday. So three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. And we have the current trend as our blue line and overlapping it. The orange line is our trend that will be the best match. And we have our current trend right here and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. And this trend dates back to December 24th, 2014 to March 24th, 2015. So let's compare the two trends. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band reversed in an attempt to touch the upper Bollinger Band. And then we slowly drifted lower low. And then we made a nice reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band, revert back to the mean, and then once more touch the upper Bollinger Band. So now the trend in question here, we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band in an attempt to touch the upper Bollinger Band slowly drift the lower lows and reverse to touch the upper Bollinger Band, revert back to the mean, and then once more touch the upper Bollinger Band. So what we have here are one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same and the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was December 24th, 2014 to March 24th, 2015, back then natural gas was down roughly around 3.8%. So one thing to note, do the trends do look similar, but they are not complete identical. So and here we are touching the upper Bollinger Band, but however on here, we are only near the upper Bollinger Band. And one thing to note again is we saw another attempt at the upper Bollinger Band while on the trend in question, we did not see that there. So do keep that in mind. So let's head back to the day-by-day -day probability model. So the forecast that we just saw coincides with this standard deviation of say 38% between zero and negative 8%. So let's examine the technical performance of each model. 
So now the trend that we're in, we're down roughly around 19.5% from monthly highs, up 8% from monthly low, down 4% from 10 simple moving average, down 3.6% from 20 simple moving average, and down 4% from 50 simple moving average. Now the trend that we just examined was again December 24, 2014 to March 24, 2015. That was down roughly 18.3% from monthly high, up 6.6 from monthly low, down 25 basis points from 10 simple moving average, up 41 basis points from 20 simple moving average, and down 1.2% from 50 simple moving average. So there are slight technical differences. Uh, the distance away from 10 simple moving average, compare that to 4% on the current trend. And on the trend in question, we're slightly closer to 10 simple moving average. And on here, we are above the 20 simple moving average compared to our current trend. We're down roughly 3.6%. And right here as well, we're down 1% compared to that to, say, 4%. So there are slight technical differences among the two trends. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.